So I do refrigeration work, grocery store, supermarket refrigeration work, but I also do not pay other people to do my serious mechanical projects or auto projects or even anything involved in the house projects for me. I do it myself. I'll learn how to do it myself. All right, so let's start digging into the clutches here. So here we got the three, five, one, two, three, four drum. Pop that ring out, let them out. And check them out. We still have pretty good friction on these, but I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna replace them too, because it's gonna all come in the kit. And I keep them all together. So what I do, if you have these laying around, they're great little tie straps. They come in handy for lots of things. This is one of them. All right, and then down underneath that set of clutches, you've got another snap ring. Yeah, and these clutches will also come out. Snap rings together with your clutches because they are specific. I replaced my water well pump in 2018. It was a 165 feet deep submerged submersible pump. Got it off of eBay for $200, and I saved paying $1,800 or $2,400 or however much the water well guy I knew was going to charge to do the work for me. I did it myself. So I'll do anything in my house or anything in my vehicles. I'll learn how to do it. I've done my transmission three times in my SUV, my engine three times. Now to get these pistons out, you need a special tool, a press, to push this down before you can take this snap ring out. We'll get to that later. Now we'll take out the 456 clutch pack, snap ring in there. Slide right out. These ones are actually still okay. That's good because they uh, they get worn out pretty quickly. Okay, all right, it's good. We also got a piston in here. And I think I finally got them right because it's been a couple years now since the engine rebuild I had to do. And it's been 18 months now since September of 2022 for the transmission rebuild. We're going on about 30,000 miles on that transmission. So I finally got the hang of it. This is just to help anybody who might be in the same situation. And then that piston too is under some pressure right now. So you need to press, I'm gonna press it down before you uh, try taking it out. And over here, we've got my ring gear which should come out but it's not it's like stuck mm. well actually I don't think it comes out if you look right here I think it stays in there yeah I believe it does it stays in so the ring gear is part of the 456 clutch assembly. These right here are holding it and it won't let it come out. Alright, so since that's all one unit, it's definitely going to get replaced because the ring gear is, uh, is destroyed. So all that gets replaced. That whole thing's trash. So the engine, what happened was 40 days after I bought it from the dealers, 40 days after I bought it, it had a cylinder misfire due to a collapsed lifter because of the AFM active fuel management system and the camshaft was wiped out I didn't realize that the camshaft was as wiped out as it was so I didn't replace the camshaft on the first go and that's where I screwed up all right now we got our center support two six and low reverse clutches snap ring come out come out they look great Beautiful. Nice. Next, that one. 
we got another one down here, but that one is also that one is under pressure also, so you need a special tool for that. But I'll show you guys how to make one in a little bit. We also need a special tool to get this thing out because it too is under pressure. Thank you. Let's see. Maybe not. All right. Now I don't think these outer clutches are under pressure. I guess we'll see. No, not really. Good shape. And I know it's a lot of clutches and a lot of different teeth and designs, but they're all specific to, to each of their each of their housings, so you can't get them confused. So it's overwhelming, but it's it's not that bad. See, metal has gotten all down in here. See that? That's metal right there. I don't know if I should reuse this or not. Have to look it over real carefully during inspection. I really actually only redid the transmission twice because the second time I did it, when I put it back together, I started it, I had a, a real bad rattling sound. So this is the noise that I'm talking about. And I wasn't really sure about it, so like a dumbass, I let a transmission shop pick the vehicle up, take it to their shop. Somehow they convinced me to let them take it all apart, look through it, get me an estimate just to see what was what was wrong with it. All I wanted to know was what the rattling sound was. Turns out it was my, my starter cover down by the torque converter. Stupid little plastic cover. Alright, now we got this big behemoth of gear set. The rear gear set, which is called a Ravenol gear set. Snap ring here. Mm -hmm. Kind of a pain in the butt. It's supposed to have a, a bench with a hole in it for the shaft output shaft to go down into. Yeah, that makes things a lot easier. Yep, yeah, see? I'm talking about. Yeah, that sucks. There we go. Snap ring out. And there's our ring gear. The output. Some planets. They look okay. These gears look okay. Thankfully, I didn't run it enough to get metal back here to destroy these, but I don't know. I might end up replacing this too. I really don't want to have to rebuild my transmission again for a very long time. Okay, no, I remember what happened now. It was my wife. My wife told me, you should have a professional look at it and, and because, you know, Maybe you just don't know what it's every you know you don't do this every day so you know you know and I was already frustrated because it had been like two weeks or three weeks I was sick of working on this thing I was I had had it you know so I wasn't listening to my to my to my inner to my instincts you know I, I wasn't yeah you know, wasn't listening I listened to my wife guys never go against your better judgment like that if you know. If you know you know what you're doing, don't go against your better judgment. It's not that I have better judgment than her. It's just she was also frustrated because she had been stranded for two or three weeks. But then, after it cost me $1,000 to get my truck back because they took it apart, and then they quoted me $6,035 to rebuild the transmission and give me things that I didn't need, he lied to me. You know what this guy told me? This guy in Pinehurst, Texas at My Transmission Experts. I'll get you his name in a little bit. This guy told me that I have multiple cylinder engine misfires on lockup. That's what he told me. I guess he didn't realize that I know what engine misfires are and I also know what torque converter clutch lockup is. And I know that they have nothing to do with each other. 
this guy's a freaking liar, man. So just to get my truck back, I had to pay a thousand dollars, and I drove it back home myself. They had taken all the fluid out. I got, you know, I had just bought ten quarts of transmission fluid, and when I got it back, it was low on fluid, and it had the wrong kind of fluid in it. 